Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a nice quartic equation or should I call it bi quadratic. You got it? We have z to the fourth plus 2z squared equals i and we're going to be solving for z values and I'll be presenting I guess at least two methods. Let's see how this goes. All right, so first method which is something you should probably never ever do is use the quartic formula. How does the quartic formula work? You can kind of add a negative 2z squared. So kind of write it as follows. And then to both sides, we're going to add the following. 2kz squared plus k squared. What, what it does, this piece, is turns the left hand side to a perfect square. What we could add other things too, but the idea is to get a quadratic in Z. Okay, get the idea? So now the right hand side will be added to gay two KZ squared plus K squared. And then we'll get the following, right? This will be Z squared plus K quantity squared. And now we can arrange this. 2k minus 2 multiplied by z squared plus k squared plus i. So here's the trick. I was hoping to get a z term, but we don't have it, so it's kind of easier. If you had a z term, we would uh, use the, what's the word? Discriminant. Okay, discriminant will be 0. But if you want to get a perfect square from here, you basically need to get rid of the constant term, and this needs to be a perfect square. Get the idea? Z squared multiplied by a perfect square works perfect. But how does this disappear? K squared must be I, I mean negative I, right? And from here, you kind of need to think about how to write this in polar form, maybe something like this would do. But that's only going to give you one of the solutions and I can find the other one easily. But one of the solutions, K would be e to the power I pi over two, which is I by the way, and of course, one of the square roots of negative i is i because i squared is wait a minute this is not correct oh okay i see i see my mistake this is not e i pi sorry this is i pi uh i times three pi over two okay great that's the correct argument okay so when you cut in half let's do it correctly e to the power i times 3 pi over 4. And 3 pi over 4, if you think about it, 1, 2, 3, that's how I find it, 5, 6, 7, 8, well, I missed something, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I probably skipped 4. Anyways, so you get the idea, this 3 pi over 4, uh, cosine is hmm, negative, uh, sine is positive, so it's going to be like negative root over 2 plus root over 2i. The question is, actually the million dollar question, if I plug it in here, does that become a perfect square? Let's find out. Double this, and then subtract 2. Mm, I don't think so. Anyways, it's not getting anywhere. I told you, you probably shouldn't use it. Forget it. Okay, second method. Second method is, I don't know, could be my favorite. Let me know what you think. I'm going to go ahead and add one to both sides. You know why? because this becomes a perfect square. Notice there's a way to, I mean, we could do this with the first method too, but anyways. So what I need to do then is just take the square roots. Wait a minute, how do you square root this? If you know that this is, wait a minute, I was about to say two plus i squared, no, one plus i squared is two i, but not vice versa. So what should I do? Hmm. So square root 1 plus i, I can write in polar form. So square root of 2 times root 2 over 2 plus root 2 over 2i, or root 2 times e to the power i pi over 4. There you go. Okay, so i pi over 4. And then if you square root it, it's going to be the fourth root of 2 e to the power i pi over 8. Nice. To find the other square root, use the same modulus, and increment the argument by pi because notice that squares will be pi radians apart and that will be 9 pi over 8 
I mean, if you can do this, you can also do this, but they're kind of very similar. Well, let's just focus on this for now, and the other is very similar. Z squared is this minus one, and then you will take the square root. But before we do take the square root, I kind of need a nice form for this. One way to do it, you kind of uh, turn this into this, cosine pi over eight, plus i sine pi over eight. Then you need to find the values of sine and cosine pi over eight. And let me show you a quick trick. Draw a triangle, and i sus leads right triangle. This is pi over four, this is pi over four. Let's say one, one, root two. And then extend the base, root two units, not one units. Okay, like this. Now you got an equilateral, I mean, I meant isosceles, okay. And that will be pi over eight and pi over eight, okay. And then from here you can find the tangent, from find the hypotenuse, you can find sine, cosine. That's a lot of work, but it works. And of course that's not the end. From here you find, you find the square roots of this number and you can just kind of replace it with a plus b i, square it, set it equal to this numerical thingy, and then blah, 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 square root, so on and so forth. Anyway, solve a system, right? You could do that. Okay. Uh, not a super duper method, but it kind of works, right? Let's look at the third one. Mm, I thought it was going to be nicer. The third method is substitution. Let's just call this W. And then we get Z squared plus 2W. Oh, Z squared, come on, W. That is W. I mean W squared, sorry. Because this is z to the fourth, okay, here we go. And then I'll do the same trick, add one. I don't have to put parentheses by the way, but I don't know, I just did. Use this, and then use this. Not exactly the uh, different method, but it's kind of very similar. And then two square roots, don't forget that. But if you take the principal value, this is fine. Anyways, that's pretty much it, right? Is there another way to do this? I don't think so. I mean, instead of using this, I could use the quadratic formula, right? That would be an alternative, like this. And then W would be negative B plus minus the square root of B squared, which is four, minus four AC, that would be four I. This comes up a lot, and guess what? That's gonna bring you to the exact same point because you can take out the two, right? And find the square root of one plus I, that's going to be involved pi over 8 and 9 pi over 8, so on and so forth. Make sense? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.